Welcome to C Programming Lecture 5. So far in all the C programs we have looked into are written with statements that are executed one by one without any selection or repetition of any selected part of the program. This means that the control of the program execution go from top to bottom without missing or repeating any part of the program. But due to various necessities, we may require certain part of the program code to be selected or not selected on conditional basis. In this lecture we will look into single selection if statement that can help to write C programs to select certain part of the code only when a condition is satisfied. Consider the electric circuit shown in the figure with three impedances connected in series. When an electric potential is applied between nodes A and B, an electric current will flow through the closed circuits in all three impedances. The total impedance provided by these three impedances connected in series to the flow of the electric current will be the added up value of all three impedances. As the impedance is a complex quantity, the equivalent real part of the impedance is calculated as the sum of all three impedances real part. And similarly the equivalent imaginary part of the impedance is calculated as the sum of all three impedances imaginary part. Impedance unit can be ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. User can input the real part imaginary part and the unit of the impedance for the C code to calculate and display the equivalent impedance as a complex quantity in the major unit of three input impedances. In developing the algorithm, we are going to introduce a unit scaling factor that will be appropriately assigned with 1 or 1000 or 1 million for the impedance units of ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. This unit scaling factor will be used to convert all the input impedances in terms of ohms while calculating the equivalent impedance. Finally check the major unit of three input impedances and rescale the calculated real and imaginary parts of the equivalent impedance and display the equivalent impedance complex quantity in that major unit. In line 4. String.h header library file is included in the preprocessor as later in the C program. We need to copy unit string to array of characters. Quite useful string and word processing functions like comparing strings, checking for alphanumeric characters, calculating the number of characters in a string are available through string.h header file. Lines 5 to 9. Our define preprocessor directive that define required parameters in this C program. As this program input three real and imaginary parts of three impedances and calculate the sum of the real parts and sum of the imaginary parts, a two-dimensional array of row size 4 is required. First three rows of indices 0, 1, 2 for the input impedances and the fourth row of index 3 is for the equivalent impedance. Input three impedances and the calculated equivalent impedance will have real part, imaginary part and a scaling factor for the unit. So, the two-dimensional array column size is defined as 3, in line 6 preprocessor defined directive. First column of the two-dimensional array will contain the real part of all the impedance's complex quantities. For meaningful access to the column zero index, parameter RE is defined as zero, in line 7 preprocessor defined directive. Second column of the two-dimensional array will contain the imaginary part of all the impedance's complex quantities. For meaningful access to the column 1 index, parameter IM is defined as 1, in line 8 preprocessor defined directive. Third column of the two-dimensional array will contain the scale factor for the units of all the impedances. For meaningful access to the column 2 index, parameter SF is defined as 2, in line 9 preprocessor defined directive. Line 13 declares Z as a two-dimensional array of type double of row size 4 for four impedances and column size 3 for one each for real part, 
imaginary part and unit scaling factor. Also it is better to initiate all the 12 double quantities as 0 to clean the garbage quantities in the 96 bytes of memory address locations. Line 14 declares IP unit as a character variable to store the units of the input 3 impedances and for processing the Z matrix third column unit scaling factor. Line 15 declares OP unit as an array of characters of size 5 to store the units as either ohm or k ohm or m ohm to display the units of the computed equivalent impedance. Line 17 printf statement displays the message on the monitor to input the first impedance real part, imaginary part and a single character, either O or K or caps M as the unit for the impedance respectively for ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. Line 18 scanf statement takes the input to double and one character quantities. Using appropriate three specifications separated by a space and stores the real and imaginary parts of the input impedance in the first row, first two columns memory addresses locations of the matrix Z and the single character in the IP unit, character variable memory address location. Now the unit scaling factor of the first input impedance has to be processed based on the single character quantity stored in the IP unit character variable memory address location. Third column in the Z matrix is meant for the scaling factor that needs to be assigned 1 or 1000 or 1 million depending on the condition whether the IP unit character variable is O or K or caps M. Lines 20 to 23, if statement checks the first case of whether the IP unit character variable is character O, and if it is true, then the first row, third column element of the Z meant for the unit scaling factor is assigned as 1. Line 20 is the if statement that checks for the condition. Boolean constants true or false will be the result of checking the condition. If true. Then the body of the if statement will be included in the execution and then continue the rest of the program statements after the if statement. If false, then the body of the if statement will be excluded from the execution and directly continue the rest of the program statements after the if statement. As the body of the if statement is selected or not, selected based on the result of a condition checking, it is called the single selection statement. Relational operators are used for checking the condition. In this if statement, the checking is for whether the character variable IP unit is equal to character O. Character has to be enclosed within single quotes. So, to check the character variable IP unit quantity with the character O, it has to be enclosed within single quotes. Relational operator equal to is written as double equal sign is used for checking the necessary condition. Common mistake is that in place of relation operator double equal sign, assignment operator single equal sign is used. This mistake is not a syntax error, and hence compiler will not highlight this, it is a logical error. When single equal sign is used, then the conditional statement will be executed as an assignment statement. Thus in this case, character O will be assigned to the IP unit character variable, that will erase whatever the character value available in its memory address location and store it as character O. With that, it will become condition is satisfied and the body of the if statement will be selected. For avoiding this logical error, Extra care has to be taken while writing equal to relational operator in conditional statements. Note that the entire conditional statement is enclosed within parentheses. Also note that there is no semicolon at the end of the line as the full scope of the if statement extends up to line 23. Opening brace in line 21 and closing brace in line 23 enclose the body of the if statement. In this case, single line 22 makes the full body of the if statement. Single line body need not requires braces to be enclosed. 
but, it is a good practice to always use the braces to enclose the body of any statement scope, irrespective of how many lines are there in the scope. Avoiding braces when the scope of the statement is more than one line will become a logical error to consider only the first line as the scope. When the condition check in the if statement is satisfied, then line 22 assignment statement will be included in the execution of the program. If statement checks the case of whether the IP unit character variable is character O, and if it is true, then 0 2. Element of the Z matrix meant for the unit scaling factor of the first input impedance will be assigned as 1. This scaling factor will be appropriately used for units conversion to process the addition of the impedances real part and imaginary part, respectively in the same units quantities. Note that one indent spacing is provided at the beginning of the statement within the scope of the if statement to maintain the structured C programming. This will help to clearly identify where a particular scope starts and ends. First input impedance unit could be kilo ohm. Character K value for variable IP unit, input through the keyboard will represent that. So, lines 24 to 27 of statement, check for that condition and if the condition satisfied, the scaling factor quantity is assigned as 1000 using the assignment statement and line 26. First input impedance unit could be mega ohm. Character caps M value for variable IP unit, input through the keyboard will represent that. So, lines 28 to 31 if statement, check for that condition and if the condition satisfied, the scaling factor quantity is assigned as 1 million using the assignment statement and line 30. Line 33 printf statement displays the message on the monitor to input the second impedance real part imaginary part and a single character, either O or K or caps M as the unit for the impedance respectively for ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. Line 34 scan F statement takes the input to double and one character quantities, using appropriate three specifications separated by a space and stores the real and imaginary parts of the input impedance in the second row. First two columns memory addresses locations of the matrix Z and the single character in the IP unit. Character variable memory address location. Note that the IP unit character will now be changed from the first impedance unit input character to the second impedance unit input character, either O or K or caps M. This second impedance unit's character quantity stored in the IP unit variable memory address location can be used for processing the unit scaling factor for the second impedance. Second input impedance unit could be ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. Character O or K or caps M for the variable IP unit, input through the keyboard will represent that appropriately. So, lines 36 to 47 of statements, check for those three conditions and if the respective condition is satisfied. The scaling factor element Z12 is assigned as 1 or 1000 or 1 million using the respective assignment statement in lines 38, 42 and 46. Line 49 printf statement displays the message on the monitor to input the third impedance real part, imaginary part and a single character either O or K or caps M as the unit for the impedance respectively for ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. Line 50 scan F statement takes the input to double and one character quantities, using appropriate three specifications separated by a space and stores the real and imaginary parts of the input impedance in the third row. First two columns memory addresses locations of the matrix Z and the single character in the IP unit. Character variable memory address location. Note that the IP unit character will now be changed from the second impedance unit input character to the third impedance unit input character, either O or K or caps M. 
This third impedance unit's character quantity stored in the IP unit variable memory address location can be used for processing the unit scaling factor for the third impedance. Third input impedance unit could be ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. Character O or K or caps M for the variable IP unit. Input through the keyboard will represent that appropriately. So, lines 52 to 63 if statements, check for those three conditions and if the respective condition is satisfied, the scaling factor element Z22 is assigned as 1 or 1000 or 1 million using the respective assignment statement in lines 54, 58 and 62. Line 66 is an assignment statement that computes the equivalent impedance real part by adding all the three input impedances real parts stored in the first column of the Z matrix after multiplying with the respective unit scaling factor in the third column. Multiplying with the unit scaling factor will convert impedance quantity in terms of ohms. So, the equivalent impedance real part calculated will be in units of ohm. Computed equivalent impedance real part in units of ohms is stored in the fourth row first column element of matrix Z. Line 67 is an assignment statement that computes the equivalent impedance imaginary part by adding all the three input impedances imaginary parts stored in the second column of the Z matrix after multiplying with the respective unit scaling factor in the third column. Multiplying with the unit scaling factor will convert impedance quantity in terms of ohms. So, the equivalent impedance imaginary part calculated will be in units of ohm. Computed equivalent impedance imaginary part in units of ohms is stored in the fourth row second column element of matrix Z. Now, the program has to find the highest unit scaling factor among the three input impedances units available in the third column of the Z matrix. This highest scaling factor can be used to rescale the equivalent impedance real and imaginary parts in terms of the major input impedances units. For that assume the first input impedance unit scaling factor is the maximum value of all three input impedances unit scaling factors. Then using if statement. Check whether the second input impedance's unit scaling factor is bigger than the assumed first one and if the condition is satisfied then change the maximum of the input impedance unit scaling factor as the second impedance unit scaling factor. Repeat similar checking for the third input impedance unit scaling factor with another if statement. And if the condition is satisfied then change the maximum of the input impedance unit scaling factor as the third impedance unit scaling factor. In line 70, first we assign the first input impedance unit scaling factor available in element Z02 to the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor element Z32. In line 71 to 74. The if statement is checking whether the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is smaller than the second input impedance unit scaling factor. And if the condition is satisfied then using assignment statement in line 73, equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is changed to the bigger scaling factor in the element Z12. If the condition is not satisfied, then equivalent impedance unit scaling factor will not be changed and continue to be the bigger scaling factor value which is the first impedance unit scaling factor. In line 75 to 78, the if statement is checking whether the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is smaller than the third input impedance unit scaling factor. And if the condition is satisfied then using assignment statement in line 77. Equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is changed to the bigger scaling factor in the element Z22. If the condition is not satisfied, then equivalent impedance unit scaling factor will not be changed and continue to be the bigger scaling factor value between the first and second impedances unit scaling factors. Thus, after line 78, 
the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor value at Z32 will be the maximum value of the three input impedances unit scaling factors. In line 15, array of characters OP unit was declared of size 5 to store the major units of the input three impedances units. Depending on the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor, OP unit string has to made either as ohm or k ohm or m ohm. Then the OP unit with the dominating input impedances units can be used for displaying the units for the equivalent impedance. In lines 81 to 87, if statement is checking whether the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is 1, which represents the unit ohm. If the condition is satisfied, OP unit is assigned element wise as ohm, using lines 83 to 86 assignment statements. String ohm has three characters, OHM, and one more for the null character. Lines 83 to 86, assign these four characters, one by one for the elements of the array of characters OP unit. Note that the null character is backslash zero. As written within the single quotes in line 86, null character backslash zero will represent the termination of the string. Assigning characters to the string name elements as written in lines 83 to 86 is one way of storing the string to the memory address location of the array of characters. In lines 88 to 91, if statement is checking whether the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is 1000 which represents the unit's kilo ohm. If the condition is satisfied, string k ohm is written in the memory address location of OP unit, using line 90 s printf statement. s printf statement is the string printf statement, that works similar to printf statement, except instead of displaying the string provided on the monitor, it is written to the memory address location of the character's array name. Here the character's array name is OP unit. This is provided as the first argument in the sprintf statement, followed by the percentage s string specification and then the string k ohm within double quotes. Thus the string k ohm is written in the memory address location of character's array OP unit. If the condition in the if statement is satisfied, Providing string to characters array name as written in line 90 s printf statement is another way of storing the string to the memory address, location of the array of characters. In lines 92 to 95, if statement is checking whether the equivalent impedance unit scaling factor is 1 million, which represents the unit's mega ohm. If the condition is satisfied. String m ohm is written in the memory address location of OP unit, using line 94 strcpy statement. strcpy statement is the string copy statement, that takes two arguments within parentheses. strcpy statement is a function available in the string.hc library. This is the reason we included the string.h header file in line number 4. Here the character's array name is OP unit. This is provided as the first argument in the string copy statement, followed by the string m ohm within double quotes. Thus the string m ohm is copied in the memory address location of character's array OP unit, if the condition in the if statement is satisfied. Providing string to character's array name as written in line 94 strcpy statement is another way of storing the string to the memory address location of the array of characters. In lines 98 and 99, the rescaling of the real and imaginary parts of the equivalent impedance from units of ohm quantity to the dominating units of the three input impedances units are carried out. These rescaling are achieved by Dividing the real and imaginary parts of the equivalent impedance in Z30 and Z31 by the dominating unit scaling factor available in Z32. Note slash equals division assignment operator is used in both the arithmetic assignment statements. In line 101, 
using printf statement the equivalent impedance in units of the dominating units of the three input impedances units is displayed on the monitor as a complex quantity. Units of the equivalent impedance is also displayed, which is the dominating units of the three input impedances available as the string in OP unit character array. Note appropriate specifications were used in the printf statement to display the double float and string quantities. Display of the execution of the exe file, input real and imaginary parts of the three impedances and their respective units characters either as O or K or caps M and final output are shown in the inset window. C programming language has six relational operators. Double equal sign is for equal to relational operator. Exclamation mark equal sign is for not equal to relational operator. Less than sign is for less than relational operator. Less than sign equal sign is for less than or equal to relational operator. Greater than sign is for greater than relational operator. Greater than sign equal sign is for greater than or equal to relational operator. In the previous C program for calculating and displaying the equivalent impedance, user input a single character either O or K or caps M, respectively for the units ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm. In the C program, let us make use of the logical operator and to facilitate the user to input a string either ohm or k ohm or m ohm respectively for ohm or kilo ohm or mega ohm in line 14 character variable ip unit is changed to array of characters to take the string as input from the keyboard for the impedances units Size of the character's array IP unit is set as 5 to take maximum 4 characters string in case of K ohm or M ohm and 1 for the string termination null character. In line 17, through printf statement, user is informed with the message that units for the first impedance has to be input as string either ohm or K ohm or M ohm. In line 18 scan F statement. Percentage S string specification is used to accept a string input for the impedance unit and also no ampersand written before the character's array name IP unit. Now, if statements are written to check the input string for the impedance unit stored in the memory address location of character's array IP unit is either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. In line 20 if statement. The first three characters of the string IP unit is checked element wise for the characters O for IP unit 0, H for IP unit 1, and M for IP unit 2. All these three characters check must be satisfied for the unit's own logical operator and which is written as double ampersand is used to check for all three characters check conditions are satisfied. Thus in line 20 if statement. The checking condition will result in true only if IP unit 0 is equal to O and IP unit 1 is equal to H and IP unit 2 is equal to M. If the checking condition results in true, the statements within the scope of the if statement, that is line 22 assignment statement will be included for the execution then continue the rest of the program. If the checking condition results in false, the statements within the scope of the if statement, that is line 22 assignment statement will not be included for the execution and directly continue to the rest of the program. In line 24 if statement, the first four characters of the string IP unit is checked element wise for the characters K for IP unit 0, O for IP unit 1, H for IP unit 2, and M for IP unit 3. All these four characters check must be satisfied for the unit's kilo ohm logical operator and which is written as double ampersand is used to check for all four characters check conditions are satisfied. Thus in line 24 if statement, 
the checking condition will result in true only if IP unit 0 is equal to K and IP unit 1 is equal to O and IP unit 2 is equal to H and IP unit 3 is equal to M. In line 28 if statement, the first four characters of the string IP unit is checked element wise for the characters caps M for IP unit 0, O for IP unit 1, H for IP unit 2, and M for IP unit 3. All these four characters check must be satisfied for the unit's mega ohm logical operator and which is written as double ampersand is used to check for all four characters check conditions are satisfied. Thus in line 28 if statement, the checking condition will result in true only if IP unit 0 is equal to caps M and IP unit 1 is equal to O and IP unit 2 is equal to H and IP unit 3 is equal to M. In line 33, through printf statement, user is informed with the message that units for the second impedance has to be input as string either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. In line 34 scan f statement, percentage s string specification is used to accept a string input for the impedance unit and also no ampersand written before the character's array name ip unit. Similar to the unit's check for the first impedance, the unit's check for the second input impedance is also carried out using set of three if statements with and logical operator as written in lines 36 and 47 to check whether it is either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. In line 49, through printf statement, user is informed with the message that units for the third impedance has to be input as string either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. In line 50 scan f statement, percentage s string specification is used to accept a string input for the impedance unit and also no ampersand written before the character's array name IP unit. Similar to the unit's check for the first and second impedances, the unit's check for the third input impedance is also carried out using set of three if statements with and logical operator as written in lines 52 and 63 to check whether it is either ohm or k ohm or m ohm. Everything else remains the same in this C program as the previous C program. Note that even the total number of lines 104 as well remains the same. Display of the execution of the exe file, input real and imaginary parts of the three impedances and their respective units string either as ohm or k ohm or m ohm and final output are shown in the inset window. C programming language has three logical operators. Double ampersand is for and logical operator. Double vert symbol is for or logical operator. Exclamation mark is for not logical operator. This is why not equal to relational operator is written as exclamation mark equal sign. All the C programs examples discussed in this lecture are provided as examples to learn single selection if statement and logical operators. Try to write C programs yourself to get more practice, experience and confidence in coding computer programs. In the next lecture, we will see how double selection if else statement is useful to write C programs that can solve scientific and engineering problems.